The Cycles Render Engine now has support for camera zoom motion blur. So here I have my camera and I did animate the focal length. So when you see here, we're doing a simple zoom. And now when I turn on motion blur and hit render, then you see that I have motion blur support for zoom, which is pretty cool. And the scene I have set up here is very simple. It's mainly lit by or only lit by environment lighting. And this can be now controlled better. And you can set it here in environment lighting when you have turned on multiple important sample. Then below we have the option max bounces. And that's pretty much the same as with lamps. Uh, if I reduce it, for example, to zero, the environment will only light directly. So you see here that the part of the cube here, the cube is darker now and the lower part of the sphere where light is bouncing to the ground and then to the sky, those are darker now because they are not lit indirectly anymore. So pretty nice if you, for example, want to have a scene where you're lighting everything with lamps, but you still want the nice reflections and direct lighting from environment lighting to make it more realistic, then you can set the max bounces to zero and may both save render time and get the result you want. Then you might see here on the cube that there is a monkey reflecting and I want to use this to show you another new feature of Cycles and that is camera space object culling. And the idea is to simply not render objects that cannot be seen from the camera. So to show you this, I will go to the scene settings, then here down here, simplify, and there is use camera call. But this does not change anything. I have to turn on the camera call for each object I want to call. So let me select this as well. This is the yellow monkey here, which is actually up here and set use camera call. And now when I look through the camera, the reflection is gone because the object cannot be seen directly from the camera. So it's simply not rendered. Of course, this will save quite a lot of render time. For example, if you have a lot of objects behind your camera or um, to the left and to the right, and you don't need them to be seen in reflections or cast shadows, or they're also not um, bouncing any indirect light, then use camera object call to greatly speed up your rendering. The main idea is to use this probably with like a grass meadow because the camera call will only also work for child particles. So it will also work for a grass meadow that only the part of the meadow that is directly seen by the camera will be rendered. So a great new addition if you want to use higher performance in cycles. And the last thing I'd like to show you in this part are the new options for the image textures. And for this, I have a plane here, very simple plane. It uses an emission shader and it has a simple image texture. So let me go to compositing and select this. And now you see here, I use generated coordinates. Let me use object. So we have tiles or several of this texture. And now you see, this is the default old behavior of cycles. It will simply repeat the texture. But now we have another option as well. And that is extend. And now you see that here, here we have our texture and the edges are simply extended over the entire image, which gives uh, yields a pretty nice effect sometimes. And you might really actually want to use this. But the most uh, interesting thing is the new clip option, because this will basically clip the, clip the texture and everything else will be black. And also the alpha of the outcome will also be clipped. So if I just put the alpha into the strength, you see that now we can actually even get an alpha mask. So this is pretty awesome and really useful. For example, if you want to place decals on an object, now it's awesomely simple thanks to the new clip option.